Hello, I'm Linda Barrow, and I'm on the board of directors of the Santa Rosa Symphony League. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of meeting Bruce Reisenman, chef and partner of Park Avenue Catering. Bruce and his staff work together with two of our other board members and committee chairs, Irene Sohm and Karen Ely, on this year's Dinner is Served, or Dine and Donate, if you will. Now this particular annual league event raises money to help support music education for the youth in our community. So let's go talk to Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Thank you so much for inviting me here today to sit with you and talk a little bit about how the Dine and Donate concept came about. Well, thanks, Lynn. It's, um... You know, it's, it's been an interesting year and a half with COVID and especially in our business, you know, we're, we're used to doing large parties and uh, I've had Park Avenue catering. I founded Park Avenue 30 years ago. And uh, one of the things that I've really loved about Sonoma County and what I learned about the county is that people are very, very philanthropic. There are a lot of great organizations and there are a lot of people supporting them. And, over the years with Park Avenue, we've come to the point where we were able to really do a lot for the community and for a lot of the nonprofits that we believe in. And so during COVID, there were a couple things that happened. One is I've been able to keep a full team on of 28 people for the last year and a half. The other part is that we needed to figure out how we could continue to, to help the community and help nonprofits when we were at a point where we were doing very little business. And so the other piece of what we were looking to do is to figure out ways of keeping my employees going. So the idea was that Dine and Donate allowed us to give back and bring in at the same time. So what we decided to do is to look at it and say, okay, we can't serve people at events, but we knew many nonprofits were looking to figure out how they can hold virtual meals. And you know, a lot of the meals that you get when you go to a restaurant, it comes to you hot and it, it, you get it home in a craft box and you have to figure out how to take it out of that box and reheat it in your microwave and put it on a plate. And it never really comes through with the same level of quality that the restaurant started you with. But as a caterer, we know all along that what we do is we bring food for 100 people, 200, 300 to site, and then figure out a way to finish it and cook it on site. So we took that information of what we knew and turned it into Dine and Donate. So we were able to put through a really beautiful meal that you finish in your oven, 350 degrees for X amount of time for either the fish or the meat or whatever it needs to be. And what you have is closer to a quality, high quality restaurant meal that's not been reheated, but finished and really easy to put together on a plate and look beautiful. And with that, we figured, okay, if we can do this and attract the people who really want to support these nonprofits, or even introduce some of our followers to an organization that they've never been involved with before, never supported before, or just to the concept of giving back. Uh, that's what we wanted to do. So what we do is for every, every meal that's ordered through Dine and Donate, we donate back 25% of what the customer pays. That's very generous, 25%. It's well, that's it, extremely it, generous. It's gotta be, it's gotta be something as valuable for in this particular case for the Symphony League or for whatever organizations we work with. And not only is that part of what made it a little more unique, and the other part is that <clears throat> we learn things that we've never learned before. We know how to ship packages and we have a team who can deliver. So it was another piece of this whole puzzle of how do you do a virtual meal and make it convenient for people as well. And that is we could deliver it to their door or they could pick it up here. There are a lot of options. And, and that's, that's where Dine and Donate all came from. Well, that's wonderful. I like the fact, of course, that you're giving back to the community, but it's also great 
that you have been able to keep your staff, I think you said 28? Yes. Your staff of 28 is still working with you because it's just so many businesses, small businesses, local businesses, have just been decimated by what's happened with the COVID. So I think it's, it's just really just wonderful with what you've come up with. You're helping the community and you're also helping the community by allowing 28 people to keep their jobs. So we think that's great. Now let's see, um, what else can I ask you? Now the, the delivery, I think the delivery is quite reasonable. I think it's only $20. Yes. yes. And then um, if you have um, several people uh, participating in the uh, Dine and Donate, it's only one delivery fee. Well, what? the beautiful thing now is that with people getting vaccinated and having both vaccinations, they're starting to feel more comfortable gathering again. And so we love the idea of a group of eight people who have all had their vaccinations being at one person's home and celebrating the Symphony League with a great meal and not having to do all the work that goes along with it. It's sort of halfway between having a catered meal and cooking it yourself because it really saves a lot of the effort. The quality is there and it's just a nice way to do it. And yes, it can all be delivered to one door for the single delivery fee. Yeah, that's quite a that's quite nice that you're doing that. Well, listen, I know you're a busy man and so I won't take up any more of your time, but again, I, as a representative of the Board of Directors for the Santa Rosa Symphony League, again, thank you so much for inviting me here and really thank you so much for coming up with this wonderful idea and helping us since we can't have in-person fundraising events. It's really cramped our style as well. So you've really helped us out with that. A 25% uh, uh, Percentage for the for the uh, league is very dumb, is very generous. Excuse me, very generous. So again, thank you so much, and until I see you again, bye bye. Thanks, and um, you, you know it's a it's a great organization. Thank and you. And I've known of it and been been a supporter for many many years. And uh, what I hope also is that people who didn't even know about the Symphony League learn about it, whether it's through this video or through our website or through your pushing dine and donate it's another great piece of what i want to do and what i'm hoping is the result of all of this thanks, thanks very much Lynn.